And then there are older players as well. Some, some players uh, are not physically comfortable getting the chin on the cue, especially if they came to the game in later years. They're just not used to the stretching required that the snooker players need to get into that uh, TV position, the classical TV position. So before I will let someone get away with having the chin above the cue, and it's only probably, with over, over 50s, it's probably over 50 years of age players, still probably only one in 20 who, who I feel really need to have the chin above the cue because that they, they can't see uh, clearly, perhaps, with the chin on the cue, because the eyes are facing the floor a little bit too much. But what I would prefer to do, as we covered last week, briefly, is... Let's have a look. I'll come around here and just show the stance. If we go wide angle, Very often you'll see players who stand as they would do normally in a post office queue, for example. So they're, they're standing here and their snooker stance is the same width. But you just can't get down low enough with that. And this knee tends to be very straight as well, so which keeps them upright. But if you have a look, if I bend the left knee, that gets me lower. If I go wider, that gets me lower. I could do it this way as well. The bending the knee gets me lower and going wider gets me lower as well. So with, with the uh, older players, what I, what I tend to start with is widening the stance, bending that left knee, and then maybe bending the uh, <coughs> back knee as well. Even going down here, that's fine. I prefer to see a player doing this than doing this. Partly because if the shoulders are high, the elbow tends to lift off the table and you lose a lot of stability. 